Hey, welcome to this video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to increase your Google AdSense CPC. So I've got a file with me. This is the file I'm going to be using in a minute. And I'll be showing you how to do that. Uh, so um, in this video, you'll be uh, watching basically how to build. First, you need to build a website with a high pay-per-click niche. How to do that is pretty easy. If you do a bit of search, um, high paying AdSense um keyboard and let's just put here uh, 2019 and basically uh, if you build a website let's say in insurance and all your articles is all about insurance then basically the um, you'll get a high pay-per-click uh, however even that um, you know we can use this uh, keywords we can have some other way basically to use the keywords inside our assets account so then we can have a more uh, high CPC. So let's just go log in first. I'm going to log into my account right now. Okay, now we need to log into AdSense. Once you are in AdSense dashboard, um, don't forget you need to click on block control and then you use uh, all websites. And then you come up here. This is what you have anyway. Okay, so I'm just going to go block control content so we click on all sites uh, once we are in all sites now we need to go and grab a file so in this case I'm gonna leave a link below this video so you can download the file for free so you just open the file and then we need to go to low pay-per-click and then we have a list, uh, absolutely huge list, basically with all uh, companies who are paying very low CPC. So we need to get sort of get rid of them. So just copy that. Uh, go to your license account, paste all of them. This is what you have, and just click on uh, block URL. It may take uh, just a bit of time to block all of them but once it does basically you'll see a list as you can see is working right now so now we have blocked and if we have a look here we got pages basically to go that so many links we have we we have been blocking right now so what we need now we need to go and add new networks and uh, this is the key basically that we need to it's going to take us a bit of time however uh, you, we need to add basically high pay-per-click uh, keywords, so um, networks, sorry. So this is what we have. And then all you're going to do is just click on that, copy, and then manually basically just search for it. This is, is allowed, which is good. And then we can go next one. We have to go in all of them basically, and then just add them. What we're telling Google, we're telling Google that we want this particular company ads to be shown in our website. So then Google basically then will start showing ads from this networks direct into your website, which means those uh, ads, they are paying more to show in your website. And then that's how you get, you're going to get high CPC. So just follow that. And then um, you could do, if you, if you know any other network that pay very well, all you're gonna do is just type in the name here, click search. Google will find if it's if it's in a list of uh, Google Ads, and then basically that's how you can block or allow that. Another thing is, uh, you can go this way if you want to, and this is the best way if you want to get a high CPC. However, if you want to get more clicks and you're not worried about CPC, then basically you go another uh, way. Just go to categories. So now you can basically allow and block categories that you want. Example, I'm saying, uh, Google automatically is monitoring uh, all your websites when you have placed your ads, and then it is gonna tell you basically which category is uh, getting more clicks from your websites. So as you can see, this is the list of them, and you can see uh, all the categories. Example, we go from here, art is entertainment, uh, autos and, and vehicles, uh, beauty and personal care, and so on, you know, you got so many. Each of them, it tells you basically how much in percentage, that's how much you gain. So all you can do is then just go in and block the ones that are not performing very well. So just block them and then allow only those 
that they work in better for your website or gain more clicks. Um, uh, if you go to sensitive categories, you even go um, a bit of more sort of the exposed that is telling you even uh, with better options. Um, have a look on right hand side. This is like 9.4%, uh, um, which I have uh, allowed this to run on my website. And you got 28.8%, which is the best one, which means uh, my website is all about download stuff. So that's why it's performing very well, which you can see yourself is 20.8. So the best thing is to uh, first install your ads uh, into your website, then let, let the website run for about a week or so. So the um, Google can start collecting data. And when it collects all the data, basically it's going to show statistics. Uh, as it shows in here, then uh, what you do is just play around with it, which means if you gain more clicks in certain ads, then uh, allow those ads to show in a website or, or a particular category, in this case, downloadable stuff, um, and then uh, try to block others because you want uh, those ads to show all the time in your website because that's um, your visitors, your traffic, when you, uh, traffic source when you get from all those visitors basically they um, they are willing to click more on those physical ads but not any other ads so it's like um, I'll give you an example it's like uh, you have a shop yourself and then you have a customers who is interested to um, visit your website that in your website in your uh, in your shop basically you have a clothes to sell and then um, if you have a cars for sale as well, customers, um, they're not going to be very interested because they are there basically to buy clothes instead of buying a car or something else. So it's the same, similar with the ads, basically. If you, um, if you let all the categories run, which means Google is going to start rolling ads to show uh, different type of ads in your website, uh, well, it, you may miss that visitor because if that visitor has come into your website and instead of seeing example um, ads in closes um, all they see in about cars and basically they're not going to click and they just go away so you want to maximize this by uh, using every single visitor come to your website by uh, basically giving them choice to click on that ads uh, without leaving your website that's why you choose this particular ads because if you block others and you leave those ads, basically those ads will show all the time, which means chances are very high that a user will click on those ads and that's how you can make more money with that. Uh, so the best thing again is after all, to first install ads into your website, leave it for a week or so just to run. So as I mentioned, Google can collect all those data and once you have the data ready, you see the percentage on um, user, basically, uh, user interest in your, in your ads showing your website, then uh, allow those ads to run your website more and then block the others. And this is how it works basically better. Uh, you may do a test yourself. It may run maybe different in your website. But uh, the thing, the main key here is that when you have a traffic into your website, you, you don't want the traffic to go away without clicking ads. So you want to maximize it. In this case, we got to give a choice to um, visitors to give them something that they like instead of showing anything that it may not be very interested for them. That's, that's the reason sort of I came up for that. Again, uh, this file I'm going to be uploading very soon and I'm going to be put a link below the video so you can download it for free. Uh, just grab the copy basically and you can start doing that uh, yourself and see the changes. Give it um, at least 12 hours basically to for changes to take place. Uh, starting from the time you make those changes. I'm just saying just in case Google sometime, um, Google script basically when you make changes into your AdSense account, uh, it may take some time basically to take effect. Uh, so in that case, just give it a bit of time. And then um, I will suggest you basically that um, once you make those changes, give it a week and see the results within a week and see that if you are making more than any other week. And if it does, then basically leave it uh, in this option. But if it doesn't, then always you can change it to categories so you can get more clicks. But it could be low CPC 
or you can get uh, less clicks, but they will get a very high CPC. So in this case, you go both, you know, ways to uh, choose to get uh, or to make money from AdSense. Uh, if you got a question, uh, you can leave in comment below. I'll reply, you know, and um, you know, I'll try to help you with uh, any question you may have. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, please subscribe as I'll be uh, uploading many more videos. Uh, in this subject and many other subjects basically starting from uh, design stuff into how to make money online with AdSense or even alternative ways of um, with other networks uh, online. Thanks for watching this video.